Welcome back in your sport. Orlando Pirates coach Shao Jean Fred says he will sit down with management and look back at the positives since he took over. What went wrong and what needs to be done going forward? While there's still a mathematical chance, Pirates' chance of qualifying for the top eight is not quite a realistic one and this season is likely to be their worst ever in the PSL. Pirates and Supersports United are the only APSA Premiership teams to have consistently qualified for the top eight. Pirates are going through their worst of time having had three coaches in one season. Now the team's hopes of qualifying for the top eight depend on three clubs above them losing their last matches. And even then, the Buccaneers who haven't scored a goal in their last three league matches will have to score lots of goals. In the three months he's been at the club, the coach and his technical staff have learned the areas they need to bolster in the team. Of course, we know pretty well what we have and maybe what we could need in the future. But uh, we haven't sat down yet, but I hope we can do that pretty soon. For these Pirates players and their technical team, the NetBank Cup is the only thing remaining for them to redeem themselves and appease their fans after a poor season by their own standards. Winning the NetBank Cup would be something to celebrate in a poor season as the club is celebrating its 80th anniversary. If we win thing here, uh, both Mark and Nordin is going to be in the yeah we are, we are going to be in the logbooks here <coughs> that we have won something with Orlando Pirates. So that's a fantastic thing. Pirates play Golden Arrows in the NetBank Cup semi-final on Sunday at the Princess Makoko Stadium in Kwamashu. Pesinkato, CBC News, Johannesburg.